What is the most disgusting meal I can create? Let's find out together. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian, and as you guys probably already know, I am an excellent cook. Boy, have I cooked some truly devastating and disgusting meals in my time. But which meals are truly the most disgusting? And how deadly are they? Is really the, the question we need to ask. Let's find out together! Come, join me in the grossest journey of food exploration you will ever find. Oh. Bring a barf back. Toka Kitchen. This is actually an older game, but it looks like a lot of fun. Basically, you cook food for these lovely individuals. One of them apparently being the abominable snowman. Abominable. Abominable. Let's start out cooking for this young lady, shall we? So here is our kitchen. And my understanding is, is that you can combine just about anything into any dish. You can make some pretty disgusting concoctions. And that is precisely what I'm going to attempt to do today. But first, let's try to make something good, I guess? How about a pasta? How would I make pasta? I would definitely take a tomato and then just feed her the tomato. That's, there's your pasta. Hey, she likes tomatoes, good. So if I take some noodles, and then I take a tomato, and then I just feed her a tomato, and then some noodles to wash it down, just eat those noodles, and there you go. You basically just made spaghetti in your stomach. I don't think she liked that. So the question is, can I make like a tomato sauce? A tomato based mm -hmm. sauce for the spaghetti. I don't know. Maybe if I throw the, the tomato, I don't know how to make tomato sauce, like marinara. Maybe we throw a little, little salt there. What is this? What are th these? I don't know what these are. They're just dishes. Okay. A uh, little salt. Okay. That's great. Grilling up that, that tomato. What else do you add? You add ketchup. That's right, obviously. You put ketchup with tomatoes and then you have spaghetti sauce. Oh, I see, okay, so you can put what you've cooked into these little dishes. So that it's like you're, you're setting it aside for later. I don't know, this doesn't feel right to be honest with you. Now what if I take my tomato and then I blend it? Okay, okay, maybe we're onto something here. There you go. It's tomato soup. Add a little bit more pepper, a little bit more salt for flavor. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Okay, now what do I do with this? I don't really know. No, don't put a straw in it. I don't, I don't want her to drink straight tomato sauce. Whoa. Here, have a carrot. That'll, that'll keep her appetite a little bit lower for now until I figure out how to make proper spaghetti. Maybe I need to put the spaghetti. <gasps> you know what? Boil the spaghetti because these noodles might be very hard. But now, if we boil them up, we're gonna make them nice and al dente. It's a, Italian. We need more salt. Once again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, we have boiled noodles. Mm. And now, I just, I just gotta put the tomato sauce. Okay, you know what? Here's how it works. You give her the noodles, she eats those up. And then she washes it down with some tomato sauce. Yum! Spaghetti! You're welcome. Drink up. Drink some more. You like that? No? No, you don't like that? Okay, sorry. We've got all kinds of ingredients. This is very exciting. What the heck is this thing? Here, eat it. Yum. Some kind of blue fire fruit. Okay, that didn't seem to be something that you enjoyed. But maybe... I need to cut it up? I don't know. What's what's it look like on the inside? This is a weird looking fruit. I don't know what this fruit is. Okay, I now have some bits and pieces of fruit that I can place on this plate. And then let's, uh, maybe we can deep fry it? Everything's better when it's deep fried, right? Drop that in there. Get all those in there. How do we, oh, dip it in. Okay, we're deep frying some weird looking fruit. I mean, I'm basically making weird french fries, right? Weird blue french fries? Who doesn't like weird blue french fries? 
Let's see if she likes them. Cool them down. Let them cool down a bit. There. There you go. Eat your weird blue french fry. Not good. Not good. Clearly I am not qualified for this. But maybe I am qualified to make the most disgusting food ever. So we've changed customers. We're gonna feed this man just the foulest thing I can think of. And I don't know what that is, but it's probably gonna start with onions. Onions are a very strong flavor. Perhaps some fish. Sure. Is that a squid tentacle? Yes, squid tentacles all the way. And just for good measure, why don't we throw in a strawberry? It's gonna be a smoothie. Oh, oh, I'm making a smoothie. That's what I'm making. All right, buddy. We're gonna blend all this up. I have all of my smoothie ingredients. Just gonna throw them all in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so disgusting. Blend it up, blend away. Oh, that's gonna be real yummy. Real yummy. Okay, you know what? We should add a little lemon for some, some tang. How about some hot sauce? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm turning the drink green with hot sauce. <laughs> This poor man. Drink up, man. I made this just for you. It's good for the soul. It's good for life. Oh! <laughs> I think he liked it. I think I think that was a sign of him basically loving it. Why don't you drink some more? Look at that. He went in for seconds. Yikes. Okay. I don't think he likes it. I was hoping that he was just going to blow fire. Can we make something like super, super spicy? How about this? Take a strawberry. Let's cut up our strawberry just slice that maybe into four separate pieces okay there we go put that on a plate and then we will place these strawberry bits on his plate and then we will season dramatically more hot sauce no that's not enough hot sauce we need more i want these strawberries to no longer be recognizable as strawberries he's got a look on his face like he's he's really really excited to eat these strawberries. You're gonna love it, buddy. Oh, man. This is gonna be some good stuff. How much hot sauce is in this bottle? I will use the entire bottle. You can't stop me. All right, eat up. Yum. Fire. Nah, you just it's just disgusting. You know what it's missing? It's missing soy sauce, obviously. Every person knows that strawberries and soy sauce are basically like the cool people's peanut butter and jelly. Eat that up. Eat that up, champ. Mmm. Oh. oh, gosh. I feel like we're getting a little bit closer to fire there. There was steam coming out of this dude's mouth. Of course, I'm a fool. I forgot to season properly with salt and pepper and lemon. Oh, oh, I'm turning the, the strawberry yellow. Okay, well, while we're at it, why not? Add some ketchup. Ew. There you go. That's a good one. You're gonna like that a lot. And he had to think about it. He had to stop and think maybe, maybe this is revolutionary cuisine. We innovate over here at the Kindly Kean channel. Strawberries and ketchup with soy sauce, hot sauce, lemon, salt and pepper. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Okay, I really need to try and make a proper recipe. I want to combine ingredients to make something truly terrifying. You know what might actually be good is deep fried squid. Get a little calamari going. That that could be good, but can we combine it with something? Is this rice? I think that might be rice. So maybe we can make like a calamari fried rice. That could be something that, that might be good. We need carrots, corn, sure, mushrooms, probably. Don't worry, dude. I'm the chef here. Don't you worry. We're gonna make something good out of this. All right, grab that squid tentacle. Nothing about that sounds good, but we'll try. We will try and make something good out of it. And a little broccoli for good measure. Okay, I've ran out of ingredients. I can't add any more. All right, let's do a little chopping. Let's chop up these veggies, chop up these mushrooms. Is there a way to pick up all the stuff? I wish there was a way to just scoop it all up. That way we could all chop it up together and then just scoop it into the same plate. How about some corn? It's a little weird that we're leaving the cob in, but you know what? It is what it is. I need to chop up this squid here. Ooh, that's, 
That's yummy, I think. Maybe. Okay, I've chopped all my ingredients. Now, I did say I was gonna fry the calamari. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll drop the calamari in there. All right. Let that fry up for a second. We don't wanna overdo it. All right, that's good, that's good. Now here's where the magic sort of happens, maybe. We're gonna throw everything in here. No, I want the rice in there. All of the ingredients, okay. Let's mix that up. I think we're sort of making fried rice, maybe. Season it up, add a little pepper, okay. Add a little salt, lovely. Add a little soy sauce. Give it a little zine. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Mm. And there you are, sir. Eat away. Can I only feed him one piece at a time? You gotta eat the whole thing together. No, you don't like that? What about that? Aha! We got a winner there! My boy likes rice. Cooked rice. Sort of fried rice. Okay, he was okay with the corn. How about the calamari? You like that? He really liked that! I'm a master, I'm a master chef. Let's give it him. Let's give him everything. Eat it all up, man. I think that that is resounding yum. Hey, I managed to actually make an okay meal for this man. I'm sorry about the gross strawberries earlier, but now we have our final customer, Mr. Monster. I don't know, Mr. Abominable Snowman, Mr. Snowman. What do you want to be called? Hmm. Mr. Hmm? Okay. The time has come to make what could possibly be the most disgusting thing that has ever been made in a kitchen. We need to give this guy something really bad. He's a monster. Monsters love disgusting stuff, right? Here, just eat a raw fish. Let's see what he thinks of raw fish. No, he won't even eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Open your mouth. You're a monster, you love raw fish. Okay, doesn't eat raw fish, fine. Okay, hear me out. Maybe if I season it properly, he will enjoy this. So we're just gonna pepper that guy up. We got raw squid tentacle and raw fish. Monster's favorite. Throw some lemon juice in there. Yes, very good. Lots of lemon. That does not look like a very appetizing meal. But I'm not here to judge, I'm here to cook. Soy sauce, let's go. I guess we're putting all the condiments on this delectable, delicious treat. Oh, I do not like the color of that. That is just awful. Okay, and now we're gonna turn it green. Don't worry, monster guy. I know what I'm doing. How about some ketchup? Yes, very good. He looks very excited about it. He doesn't look excited. He looks scared. And I don't even know what this is. Is this mayo or mustard? Perhaps, now this is fine cuisine. Here you go, man. Oh, he's gonna eat it now. See, you just needed some, some, some condiments. Oh no, <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Either my cooking is so incredibly amazing, he lost consciousness. Probably more likely though, it was so disgusting. His heart basically gave out for a second there. I, I think he died for a second. Are you okay? Here, eat this. It'll make you feel better. I promise. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. I made a dish so bad, it literally knocked out a monster. I feel pretty good about that. Hey, welcome to my kitchen, where the meals that I create might actually kill you. This is Toka Kitchen, which is actually a game that we've played in the past. However, this is the prequel to that game. And I thought it would be fun to return to making really gross stuff that possibly kills my customers. But first, let's make something actually edible. How about a steak? This kid looks like he could use a steak. So I'm gonna take this over to the cutting board. Is that something I should do? Okay, yep, yeah, I'm gonna chop it up into, I don't know that if that's typically what you wanna do with your steaks, um, because like, you're supposed to 
like cook it as one thing and then the person cuts it. But here we are chopping up a steak. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I gotta cook this up, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Grill up that steak. Although the idea of, of just handing my customer a raw steak is, is pretty funny. Probably gonna get my restaurant shut down, but it's worth a laugh. Eat that up, dude. What do you think of that? Wait, 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 wait. Seasoning. We need to season. A little salt, a little pepper. That's all you need. This is $200 a pound Kobe beef. Bread and treated to the finest extent in Tokyo, Japan. It checks out, right? Why can't you eat it yourself, man? Why do I have to? <laughs> we go the distance here at my restaurant. I actually hand feed my customers, which I hate the idea of. I would never eat at my own restaurant. I don't want to be fed by the chef. That's weird. All right, kid, keep eating. Okay, so it looks like steak is a thumbs up. I've done it. I've made something that's edible. What the heck is this? Is this just hay? <laughs> what is it? Is it pasta? Doesn't look like pasta to me. It straight up looks like just dried up grass. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it in the pot and boil it up because it's fine cuisine here. Get all the nutrients you need from a, a bundle of hay. Yum, boiled hay. Do you think he's gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna eat that? Okay, I gotta trick him into eating it. How do you trick someone into eating hay? <laughs> this is what my life has become. Okay, um, we'll, we'll try a different strat. Here, uh, how about we blend up the hay? There you go. Still pretty gross, but there it is. And then, and then, hear me out. We take this, <laughs> what looks like a bird's nest. We, uh, we just add a little salt, a little pepper, and you're good to go. Nah, he ain't gonna eat that. He is not interested at all. There's gotta be a way to feed a human hay at a fancy restaurant. How do you do it? We're gonna figure it out. Maybe we need to cook the hay. Take that bird's nest and throw that bad boy in the pan. Sear that guy up. I love that it's getting grill marks, like it's a hamburger that might have a bird living in it. Get that thing around the pan, grill it up nice and good, let it soak up some of the... The oil, delicious. This is my, wow, that is delicious face. People never know what I'm truly thinking. <laughs> he still won't eat the hay. What else can we do? We can chop it up. We can chop up the clump of, of hay. We can season it. No, I can't season it. Why can't I grab the, the shaker there? We got the fancy pink salt. Isn't that like Himalayan salt or something like that? Does it actually taste better than normal salt? I don't know, but it looks cool. Still not, still not interested, huh? Like, it, what, what's that face? You, you kind of look like you're kind of smiling, although what is happening to your eyes? Seriously, are you okay? He might be dead. I didn't even, he didn't even eat my food. Just looking at it, it caused cardiac arrest. He was never seen again. I think I found a customer that will appreciate my hay meal. Dude, straight up a cow. Okay, okay, all right. I got the finest cuisine you'll ever see this side of the Mississippi. I'm gonna hook this guy up. Although, you will be super messed up. I'm afraid to even say it. What if I fed this guy some steak? I'm not going to do it yet. <laughs> For now, I'm going to grill him up just like the most amazing bundle of hay that he's ever experienced in his life. This is fine dining cow edition. Look at his eyes. My dude is so into what I just made him. Okay, you got to season that sucker. You got to season it. You got to salt. You got to pepper. Why isn't, is there any pepper coming out? I couldn't tell. And then all that beautiful hard work that we put into it we throw it in the pot we boil it <laughs> so gross why would you do that i don't know it's washing away the beautiful grill marks that we created cows don't like grill marks sorry if you're a cow out there i don't mean to put words in your mouth maybe you do like grill marks and i apologize for assuming that you don't like grill marks all right eat up dude yo he is in love he literally just fell in love with me because i made him the finest bird's nest he's ever eaten raw carrot you know this guy's gonna gonna like it and he's gonna pay $30 for that carrot because this is a fine dining experience. Three Michelin stars. I worked hard to get here in my industry. You want an egg? Raw egg? He eats it. He eats everything. Oh, he didn't seem to like that though. He gave me a bit of a look there. Are you, are we doing this? You realize what's happening here, right? Will he eat this? He will not eat that. Understandable, but maybe I can trick him. So let's blend up some beef. Now it's ground beef. It's disgusting. You gonna eat that? Nah, you're not gonna eat that. But what if we cook it up a little bit? You got yourself a little hamburger deliciousness. Move it around the pan. Soak up that grease. <laughs> 
Why aren't you eating what I've made you? I worked very hard on this. Okay, it's understandable why you might choose not to eat this. And I respect you for it. Can I also say that I love the mutton chops? Just the cow with mutton chops. That's, that's a great, great look. There's a cat at my restaurant now. What do cats like to eat? Fish, of course. He's just gonna eat that fish raw. Okay, but he really liked that. I didn't have to do a, a, a thing. I did nothing. I literally took the fish out of the fridge, threw it at him, and he's having the greatest dining experience of his life. What about a hot dog? Do cats like hot dogs? Okay, apparently they do. But here, let's let's hook this boy up. Let's get him, I don't know. I mean, you pan fry a little sardine there. He might be into that. He's drooling. Okay, we, we gotta we gotta season. Beautiful. All right, eat that up, bud. Eat that up. He, he teared up a little bit. I've opened his eyes to a whole new world of cuisine. I mean, it's just a grilled fish. He's a cat. Do cats eat hay? <laughs> he hissed at me. Oh my gosh. Okay, my, my eyeballs might be in danger. Fair enough. Carrots? Okay, cats eat carrots, apparently. Not my cat. That is definitely the face that most cats would make. Potato? Raw potato? Raw potato. But what if I make you a little baked potato in the microwave here? So let that thing simmer for a minute. I like to make baked potatoes in the microwave. I'm not afraid to say it. How else are you supposed to make baked? Probably in the oven. But seriously, I take a potato. I wash that bad boy. I poke a whole bunch of holes in it. I get a paper towel wet. I wrap it in the wet paper towel. Actually, before I do that, I uh, salt and pepper the, the outside side of the potato, add a little drizzle of olive oil, and then you wrap it in the wet paper towel, pop that bad boy in the microwave for, I don't know, like four minutes. I have a button on my microwave. It just says potato. The potato thing comes out delicious. Let's see if this cat appreciates all my hard work. Really? Really? Wait, he's giving me a hint? He wants me to pan grill a, a potato? Uh, okay, who's the chef here? I'm the expert. Leave the cooking and all that good stuff to me. Mr. Cat, but that was actually a great idea. That was a great idea. You like that? He he was surprised with how good it was. You're welcome. Let's do something kind of gross, like from a human's point of view, but from a cat's point of view, this is probably going to be one of the greatest meals he's ever had. I don't even have to do anything. I just blended up a sardine and look at my guy. He is chomping at the bit for more. He wants more. You think we can overfeed him? Also, is there a way to, can you like combine ingredients? I guess you couldn't really do that in Toka Kitchen too, so you probably can't do that in Toka Kitchen 1. What I need to do is go back to each of my customers and find out what their favorite meal is. I think that's going to be a, a fun little challenge for us. So it's pretty clear that Mr. Cat, he loves himself some, uh, some chopped up, minced up, blended sardine. Keep in mind that I didn't take anything out of that fish, so it's blending with everything, everything. Bones included. Cat loves it. Good for you, Cat. All right, let's go back to our first customer. He still, he still hasn't opened his eyes. How about a hot Hot dog. I think I think he could go for a hot dog. Um, you know what? Let's let's chop it up. Let's make it a little bit more consumable for our little pal. And then let's go over to the pan, pan fry that bad boy. Oh, that's that's what I'm talking. Our goal is to make all of our customers tear up a little bit and maybe a little drool. That's what we want. That's a win. So add some salt, add some pepper. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay, he licked his lips. I I don't, I mean, there's no drool, but I think I saw a little welling up in the tear ducts. My, my guy is loving this, but is this the, the, like the one meal that he wants? We already made him a steak. We tried to make him a, a, a bale of hay and uh, basically killed him. How about some veggies? Nah, I don't, I don't know if veggies are the play. How do you get rid of stuff? I guess you just make them eat it. <laughs> he likes a pear. What can you do with a pear? Maybe like turn it into like a, like applesauce, but of course pear sauce. That seems pretty good. Uh, he's into it. Look at him. Let's go. I think that is the winner to, to think that blended pear would be what he was looking for. What about lent? He seems to be into fresh produce. Seriously going to eat a, a, a raw blended up lemon? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one man fair enough how about just a not blended lemon have i given him just a properly grilled medium rare lots of butter maybe a side of mashed potatoes Ooh, ooh, i'm feeling that okay okay that's that's the play get me a potato pop that guy in the in the boiler gotta boil that potato i don't know how long i should boil it i think it's good enough don't feed him the potato not yet now we need to blend it turn that into mashed potatoes look at that oh my gosh 
Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. And then, you know, like a nice additional side to a, a good steak is some uh, some broccoli, like steamed broccoli. I'm into that. Anytime my wife and I go out for a, a steak dinner, which is extremely rare at this point in our lives, she do be getting the steamed broccoli. I'm not gonna lie, and I respect it. All right, kiddo, start with the broccoli. He likes it. Move on to the mashed potatoes. Do we like? Oh, we extra like. And then the 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 peak of, of human existence right there. Boom. They, I even got a thumbs up. Let's go. That's a five-star review on Yelp. Thank you very much, kid. I needed that. Now, what about this girl? <laughs> She's sporting the Toka Boca shirt. What do you think she what do you think her favorite is? Have we tried an egg? What do you, what even happens? <laughs> what if we cut this egg in half? What? Is this is this a hard boiled egg? I'm very confused now. Let's see what she thinks of hard boiled eggs. She seems to, to kind of be into it. She did like it. I don't know if she loved it. She liked it. I'll take that. There you go. Keep eating. <laughs> She's like, I'm so full. Eat the egg. Okay, all right, she likes it. What do you think we can do with this tomato here? I mean, you microwave a microwave a tomato? That seems like a terrible idea. I'm pretty sure if you microwaved a tomato for, for too long, it would probably like explode. Can't say I've ever tested that. Probably never will. What do you think of that? <laughs> microwave tomato. Uh, yet again, uh, fine dining at its, at its greatest. Okay, somehow that got a pass. I'm gonna commit a terrible a gourmet sin right here. I'm a microwave a steak. Never. It's still red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go again. Do you think it'll ever brown? I guess not. I don't know. I could never imagine actually doing this in real life. This, this feels bad. I feel bad. It's making me kind of sick. 30 seconds in the microwave. I think she'll eat it. <laughs> she actually ate it. Okay. Don't know how you'll be feeling in the next couple of hours, but I just want to say I'm sorry in advance. What about mushroom? She seems pretty excited about the mushroom. Um, how do you prepare? You you wanna you wanna slice up the mushroom and then throw that guy in a pan, right? You wanna saute these mushrooms. I, I like sauteed mushrooms, and I don't care who knows it. They're delicious. Let's see what Susie wow. here thinks of sauteed mushrooms. Whoa, call back to Baldi's basics. Yeah. That's what we used to call playtime. And playtime finally fixed her hair up. <laughs> she likes the mushrooms. What do you think of that? Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Oh, wow, okay. I think that's the winner. Who would have thought? It's nice to see Lumberjack Moo came back to my restaurant. He liked the hay concoction that I created him the first time around. How about just a raw lemon? What do you think of that? He seems like he's gonna beat me up after his meal. Will you eat a, a sardine? What if I cook it? It just seems weird. A cow eating a, a cooked fish? I'm just not sure about it. He's, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it? Is he gonna like it? Wow. He actually liked it. That is surprising, to say the least. Today, we are sushi chefs. We're gonna make some delicious sushi, and we're probably gonna make some not-so-delicious sushi. See what the people think about it. You know, you gotta experiment. This guy looks like a great first victim. I mean, uh, customer. Patron of my brand new sushi restaurant, which I have not been trained at all on how to make sushi. So, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's start chopping up some, some fish. I suppose that's a good place to start. Oh, okay. Let's pop that guy right down there. And, um, I mean, you, you gotta have some strawberries, but, but why? And, and potatoes. Y yeah. Great. Great idea, Kian. Wait, 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 wait. We need to, we need to season this stuff. Maybe, oh no, not the hot sauce, not yet. We also have wasabi, which that stuff does not mess around. Have you ever eaten wasabi? It goes like straight to your nostrils. It's intense. Let's season, Where? where's our, where's my fish at? I don't know what I'm doing. I need help, please. Maybe, oh gosh. Oh, I, okay, I added more fish. Um, all right, let's let's move on to the next station, which uh, I think I think is the is the cutting station, right? We're gonna do some some chopping up. But don't we have to roll it first? Where's my rolling? This doesn't seem right. Wait, this up here is the the rolly, the rolly doodad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, don't <laughs> don't put the fish in yet, you maniac. All right, I'm just gonna throw an entire fish in there. Um, and then some strawberry and a potato. Gosh, this is not, this does not seem right. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah. No, it's a hand, it's a hand roll. Wait, I need rice. Yeah. Just 
plop out that rice right there. That That's incredible, actually. I need a, a machine like that in my house. I'd be making sushi every day. Okay, can we... Can we get that? Yes! Whoa! It actually doesn't look terrible anymore. The idea of the fish head just sticking out of the top of the sushi roll was a little frightening. All right! I'm learning! As I should probably have considered actually practicing my craft before I, uh, I, I opened a restaurant, but hey, you'll never know unless you try. Okay, so, so now I have a, a hand roll, which is not the same as like a sushi roll, but can, can I cut it? Can I? It just doesn't look right. Oh no, I didn't want to cut it like that. I wanted to cut it like this. I'm, I'm too efficient with this knife. All right, let's plate it up. Oh. What have I done? All right, yeah. There you go. Oh gosh, this does not look good. Oh, we'll see what our customer thinks about it. I do love, like, we've got some some serious customization ability here. Um, why don't we season that with just a a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and and then you know what? I'll add some soy sauce for you. I'm, I'm gonna expect that you'd like that. Maybe. Why are there glasses over here? Like, glasses? Why is it- what is- What- a thumbs up? What is happening? I don't- Oh, I can- I can give my food a little fedora? And a- and a hat? And a mustache. Okay. I think I've created art. And then we serve it. <laughs> Yum! Oh! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. I can't believe he actually li he really likes it. What? How is this humanly possible? I put potatoes, strawberries, and salmon, I think it was salmon, and wrapped it up in a sushi roll and called it a day. I didn't even cook the potatoes. You're just eating raw potatoes in there. Maybe I'm actually a genius. You're you're welcome. I guess he's He's waiting for more. Are you okay, sir? I, uh, all right, all right. I'll make you something else. What should we make him this time? Let's go back to the sushi station. Oh dear, there are a lot of ingredients. But, oh, you think we can make him steak sushi? But we should cook the the meat. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's let's go with some some meat. Let's get rid of this fish. I don't get out of here. We're starting over. We're starting fresh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have some ideas. We're going to we're going to give him something good and then I really really want to make something nasty. I want my food to be memorable, but like not in a good way. Like a like a that food almost killed me sort of way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But not yet. First, we make something good. Let's try to make him like a I don't know. A, a steak sushi? What would you put in steak sushi? Maybe some cucumber? I like the sound of that. And, uh, yeah, some, some, some green onion? And I don't even know what that is. And some asparagus. Yes, I like this. Okay. Now, we head over to the pan. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna cook up this steak with some, some lots of butter. You gotta use lots of butter. Oh. Yeah, that looks good. I'm liking this. Crank that heat up. Get a nice sear on that steak, but don't overdo it. I'd say I'd say uh, a medium rare seems good. All right, and then you know what? Let's cook up that asparagus. Who doesn't love some some pan fried asparagus? Mmm, that's good. Lots of butter. Love it. Okay, I'm feeling good about this one. Now, take me to the the Rolly station. There is also a blender. Uh, what would I do with that? I don't even, what is this thing? What, ugh, you scare me. You think if I throw everything into this machine, it will like make it into a sushi roll? Is this a sushi roll machine? I don't know what this machine does. I'm scared. I, oh, added some rice, okay. There's all kinds of buttons that you can press. What the heck? <laughs> There's so many things. Wait, wait, what? Wait, can I make sushi shapes? Cause that seems incredible. I'm pressing the button, I just want- Oh, what?! 
I've made meat triangles. That's amazing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, but that is really cool. Also, I've made a square of rice. I don't know if I need that. Let's go over to the sushi roller. Okay, step one, you gotta, you gotta roll it. What are we rolling it in? What is this? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it doesn't look right though. It's just like some weird tofu paste paper. That sounds disgusting. All right, all right, you gotta line it up. You got your triangle meats, and then you get some asparagus in there. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably should have cut up the, the green onion first, but here we are doing what we do. Look at, I mean, come on. Something about this seems pretty appetizing. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right, let's plate it. Well, no, actually, we need to cut it first, right? I need to get those nice little sushi roll cuts. Here we go. Okay, you go. Sha! Sha! This is so good. Yo, this game is awesome. I love it. Okay. I, I, think, I think it's ready to go. I say we serve it up, make this man happy. Um, you know, yeah, let's serve it up on that plate. That looks good. Ooh, fancy. What is this? What, what, what has happened here? Why is there just like a big old clump of rice sticking out of this thing? Oh, I mean, man, look at this. I can rotate it. Hold on. Oh my goodness. The fine tuning. I can really work on the presentation here. I'm going to, I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. This over here. And then you put the, the, the larger roll right there. I mean, that's a beautiful presentation. I'm quite pleased with my, my sushi skills here. Eat it up, man. Look, please like it, though. Like, I really tried on this one. So if he doesn't like it, I'm going to be bummed. Hey, we got a thumbs up. I'll take that all day. Ooh, we got to like, ooh, this is delightful. All right. All right. I'm... I'm feeling honed and ready to make sushi for, for all the people in town. However, like I said, I want my food to be memorable. And the best way I can think of doing that is by making something truly horrific. That's just a full on squid. We're doing it. All right, we're going squid. We're going sea urchin. Oof, uni, not a big fan. I love sushi. I am not into uni. Hey, some octopus tentacles, go for it. I don't know about this one. And uh, a candy cane and some ginger. Go. Oh, there is nothing about this. And I'm not cooking anything. Mark my words. I'm making this as foul as possible. Let's roll it. I'm not even going to add rice. I'm just going to use this weird lettuce. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. What am I doing? All right. Roll it up. Get it. If this man likes this. He is on another level. And honestly, he might like anything. Let's plate it up. I'm just gonna hand it to him like this. I'm not even gonna cut it. Just eat the whole thing. Look, he's so excited. Oh, prepare for disappointment, sir. No way, no way. What? I'm an accidental sushi master. I don't. I don't know what else to say. The man loves it. Maybe we need a new customer. Are you full yet? This man has an endless stomach. All right, what about spicy? Do we go spicy route? Obviously, nasty route didn't work for him. So, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna crank up the spice. Oh, man, we are going to crank up the spice. I, I'm not even putting meat in it. I'm oh gosh, I'm candy cane, ginger, some some strawberries. Yeah. Okay. Plop everything down. Wait, no. What are you doing? You gotta have the wrap. What kind of wrap are we using? Let's use this. This looks like cheese. I don't even know. I'm I'm a little concerned. Oof. Okay, and then oh, I'm assuming this is hot sauce. Just pack it in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This this is gonna be. This is going to be something. And then you got to get the wasabi. Clear out this man's sinuses. Okay. Ugh. All right. Add some, some lemon over the top for zest. And you know what? While we're here, let's get a little bit more. 
hot sauce. I want this thing to no longer be recognizable as a as a roll of sushi, if you could even call it a roll of sushi to begin with. Okay, yeah. This seems pretty bad. I'm gonna cut it into nice little sushi rolls because it's very satisfying doing this. All right, plate it up. We gotta at least center it. There we go. That does not look good. I don't even, it looks like some kind of dinosaur fossil is in the middle of this sushi roll. Although the dinosaur fossil might actually taste better than what I'm about to feed this man. It, there's no way. There's no way you're gonna like this. No chance. He's not okay. He's not okay. Someone call a doctor. No, this is, what is wrong with you? How? He, he loves it. I feel like with this guy, I can do no wrong. We need a new customer, a harsher critic, and someone I can basically nuke with the power of peppers. Eat tadaki mas. You're supposed to say that before you eat the. Anyways, um. Oh, hello. You. Oh, you look like a serious snob. Are you TikToking this right now? You are, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I see right through you. So first, we give him something good. Give him something that satisfies him. Makes him happy, makes him trust us. You must gain the trust of the customer before you completely obliterate it. This is definitely a quick route to losing my restaurant. But here we go. We're doing this. What do, tuna. Th this is a beautiful bluefin tuna. Yellowfin tuna. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Tuna's delicious. What else you get in there? You gotta have cucumber. It's a, it's a mainstay of sushi rolls. I was hoping I could add maybe like some, some crab or something, but... It doesn't look like we have any crab. Although this this might actually be crab meat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's crab meat, although it could also be rice. Whatever, either way, it should taste good. I think this is a nice, simple, delightful recipe that we're gonna offer to this guy. Of course, we need to uh spice it up a little bit. How are we gonna do that? You know what? What if we what if we uh serve some some fancy shapes? I like the idea of of maybe just uh, presenting this as like a deconstructed sushi roll. That's a very fancy thing that like Michelin star restaurants do, and that's what I'm gonna do. What shape should we go with? How about some hearts? Everything's gonna be in the shape of a heart. I love it. You get it. Wait, what? What happened? Okay, yeah, we got some heart cucumbers. <laughs> and then you get some, some heart shaped uh, tuna. Oh my gosh, that poor tuna. Oh no. <laughs> Just the, the fact that it's going in head first, uh, getting chopped into little hearts is, is something else. All right. I think I might just serve it like this. He might be into this. He'll be like, oh, what a beautiful presentation. Let's see. We're getting creative. I'm liking this. We do need to season it though. So let's add some salt, add some pepper, add a little bit of soy sauce. All right and then uh, give it a happy face. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I love it. All right, snobby cat guy. Took a picture of it, putting it up on the gram. What do you think? Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You see, we have earned his trust with our delectable creation. Look at him, he's like, he's like singing with it. Ooh, I like it. He's feeling good about this one. We got him. We got him hooked. Every bite more sensational than the previous. Wait until I bring you my next dish. It's really gonna knock you off your seat. He loves it. He gave us a little chef's kiss. All right. You go ahead and, and post that up there on Instagram slash TikTok. And then I'm gonna make you up a, another delectable dish. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. We're gonna keep this one nice and simple. Two ingredients, spicy pepper and spicier pepper. And since he loved the, the shapes so much, we'll give him more. A little star shape and a little plus. Oh no, absolutely unrecognizable. I have no idea what I'm creating. Wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't actually uh, turn the red pepper into a shape. Uh, well, that makes sense, because 
I had a yeah, I had two yellow ones, but no red ones. Okay. All right. We plate and we season. Oh, we season. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I've turned into an evil villain and I, I kind of like it. I hate to say it more, more, more. Let's see what your Instagram followers think of this one. He, he looks skeptical. <laughs> yeah! We did it! We did it, team. Wait, what? He... He likes it. He loves the heat. What is wrong with these people? I'm... I'm shocked. I'm appalled. And honestly, in some ways, I'm surprised. Actually, in most ways, I'm surprised. New customer, get out of my store. And you know, maybe come back if, if you if you feel brave. Hello, ma'am. What am I gonna make this lady? I make her make her something good. You know, we haven't used the shrimp today. Let's go shrimp. Maybe ooh, a little tomato. Okay, okay. And perhaps some mushrooms. And I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna saute up those mushrooms. Ooh, that sounds good. Now you're talking, Kian. All right, let's cook up those mushrooms. Mmm, that's some good stuff. You know what? And while we're at it, let's let's just throw everything in the pan. Give it a little buttery saute. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I, I have a feeling this one's gonna be delicious. All right, a nice sear on all that stuff. Let's pop it in a, a sushi roll, shall we? I think I'm going hand roll. So we'll go we'll go classic seaweed. Plop some rice on there. Get those bad boys in there, and then we're gonna do a diagonal roll. I like it. I like that. Mm hmm I'll season it up a little bit. Add some salt. Add a little pepper. And just a wee bit of wasabi. There you go. Give it a little kick. Look at me actually caring about my customer's well-being. Plate that bad boy up. And you know what? Let's make it cute. Give it a cute little bunny smile. What are, What is this? Oh, we can actually give it... Oh my gosh. That looks like an evil bunny. That's an evil bunny. I've made an evil bunny sushi roll, and she's gonna love it. I mean, how could you not? Wait, what, are you scared of it? Dang, she ate that thing in one bite. Ah, ah! Okay, the wasabi gave it a little, a little bit of a bump up in the spice scale, but she liked it. And if you like it, I like it. All right, let's try to gross this lady out. But I feel like nothing I throw at these insane customers is going to ruin their day. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of meat that is. I'm going to throw some fish in there, some some octopus, another fish, another squid, and a, a steak. It's a lot of protein in this roll. Can I even fit all these ingredients in there? No, I cannot. Okay, wait, come back. That, that. <sighs> Shrimp, tentacle, little uni. Can I fit the big old fish? I don't know if I can fit the big boy. Nope, can't fit the big boy. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that is uh, quite the roll, I have to say. That is quite the roll. Let's see what she thinks of it. Gonna slice it up for presentation purposes. We plate. That's a nice presentation. Don't let the presentation fool you, though. There is more protein in this than you will consume in a typical month of life. And she loves it. I'm insane. I can't make bad sushi even if I'm trying. I, I can't believe it. She, she inhaled that thing. Toka Kitchen. Of course, in Toka Kitchen, I always strive to be the world's greatest disgusting chef. So we're going to cook some fine meals for this gentleman with his cool mustache. You think I could pull off that look? Probably not, but he does. And because you have such a cool mustache, sir, I'm actually gonna make you something maybe kind of good. So how about we start with a delicious smoothie for this gentleman? Let's grab some fruits. We got ourselves a watermelon. Let's grab this thing. Wait, wait, wait a second. There's more. A pineapple? A peach? Oh, this is gonna be a delicious fruit smoothie. Get a strawberry, 
Get an orange. Are there any other fruits? I mean, technically a tomato is a fruit. Probably not something I would put in a smoothie. We can put a pear. Yeah, we'll put a pear in there. What about dragon fruit? Is that what this thing is? A lot of people were telling me in the comment section that this is a dragon fruit. I don't think dragon fruits are typically blue, but let's roll with it. Yeah, I just Googled it. I mean, dragon fruits, they look like they're this really cool looking like purplish pink color. But you know what? If in this game they want to be blue, that's fine. Now, we got to blend up all these ingredients. And I kind of forget how to do that. I think I need to put these guys on, on plates. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to run out of room though. Okay, you know what? We're ditching the pineapple. We're ditching the watermelon. Here, here. Here's a little appetizer. Just eat an entire pineapple. Dude liked it. I mean, he ate everything, including like the leaves on top. I can't imagine that was delicious, but he was into it. How about a watermelon? Eating the, the rind of a watermelon? Yeah, yeah, not, not tasty. Okay, let's go over to the, the smoothie maker. All right, let's grab our fruits. Toss them in. Oh, this is going to be incredibly satisfying. I should probably peel the orange. I mean, that feels like the right thing to do. But on the flip side, maybe there's a lot of nutritional value in the skin of an orange. Let's roll with that and put a strawberry in there. Oh, okay. All right. No, 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 no. There's, there's got to be room for one more. Come on. Come on, game. Work with me, game. Come on. Come on. Maybe, oh, it really isn't gonna let that fifth fruit in there. So if you had the choice between a peach and a pear in a smoothie, which would you pick? This is a tough decision. They're both delicious. I'm gonna go with the pear. And here's my logic. Peaches have pits and blending up a pit seems like a really bad idea. Sorry about that, peach. Nothing personal. Let's blend it up. Go, press the red button. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, that is a nice, pleasant color. Look at that. It's like a yellowish green. Very vibrant. Let's see what our customer thinks of it. And look at that. You even get the peach. So you, you eat the peach first. This is how I designed the whole meal. Not really, but don't tell him. He likes the peach. What about the smoothie? Oh, you're going to love this. What? Seriously? Sir, that is truly offensive. I worked terribly hard on that smoothie how dare you take another drink maybe maybe there was something in the straw he spit it all over me incredibly rude maybe the dragon fruit threw it all off maybe we shouldn't put the dragon fruit let's try a, a slightly different variation let's go with watermelon strawberry he really liked the pineapple right and then we'll we'll do the peach I guess. Yeah, let's roll with that. Okay, so we'll go with that. Gotta make a smoothie that this guy at least enjoys before we completely ruin his day by making him something truly horrific. Peach, pineapple, strawberry, watermelon. Try the... the no, you're not gonna let me put the watermelon in there because it's too big. Okay, you know what? I'd rather have pineapple because that dude likes pineapples. The whole thing. Okay. Strawberry, peach, pineapple. That sounds like a delicious combination of fruits. Let's see what it turns out looking like. It's got nice orange sort of tint to it. I dig it. Let's see if the customer digs it. Don't eat the watermelon. That's fine. Try up that smoothie. What do you think of that, buddy? Yeah? Yeah, thinking about it? How dare you? I am truly offended by this man's palate. Try again. Just, I'll give you another chance. I get... Why you got, why? I mean, really? That hurts me down to my core. I'm just gonna slice up some watermelon because it's it's fun. I mean, that's basically what it all boils down to. I mean, that's a nice looking watermelon. I do have to say, very pleasant. And then they say, I've never actually done this before, but you can salt your watermelon and it makes it taste sweeter apparently. And I've never actually tried it. One of these days, I'm definitely gonna try it. Okay, let's see. Maybe? Maybe? Yes? Yes? He said, mmm, and he didn't go bleh, and he also didn't spit it back all over us, which is disgusting. Don't eat that. That's just like a piece of the rind. You don't want that. Eat that. 
Yes. Give me a mmm. No consistency here. He ate one piece of the watermelon, was like, yeah. Ate the other side of the watermelon, was like, bleh. This is a difficult customer. He's, he's, he's a tough one. Okay, no. What about this part? Is this a winner? That was kind of a winner. I mean, he gave me like a little, mmm. I, I think that's good. And that's a no. How about the top of the watermelon with the little stem part sticking out? Yeah, I, I mean, I figured that would be a bleh. There's got to be a smoothie combination that this dude is going to like, right? Strawberries. Strawberries pretty much go in like every single smoothie that you can buy. So strawberry and watermelon? But do I have to slice the watermelon? I don't know. I got the strawberry. I got the watermelon in there. Let's let's just keep this thing simple. You know what? Actually, let's rinse out the glass or what are we doing? We're filling it up with water. I don't no, you don't want to do that, right? No, nah, that seems weird. Go back. Reset. Here, drink some water. Cleanse the palate. Maybe it was just some of the gross things I gave you be before that, that threw you off. Okay. Watermelon strawberry smoothie. That sounds quite delightful. I gotta say. Typically, I probably wouldn't keep the whole watermelon in there. I'd just take out the inside. But this guy kind of sort of seems to be okay with it. So here you go. Try it out, buddy. That's, that's gotta be a good one. That's, I can't. I cannot make you happy, sir. And because of this great injustice that you've brought upon me, I'm gonna serve you the grossest thing that I can possibly make. This guy's going down. So what are we gonna make him? I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking the world's grossest sandwich. So of course, we need bread. We need onion. I'm not saying onions are gross. I'm just saying for this sandwich, not not good. We need squid tentacles. Absolutely. We need shrimp. Oh, this is just getting foul. Oh, what do you think? Any other meats? I wish there was some cheese in here. I think this is good. I think this is good. Okay, so now we have to we have to slice everything up and, and construct it. That's probably going to be the hardest part of this whole thing. Bring out the bread and we must slice the bread. Go, hacha! Nope, okay, that didn't work. Try that again. Watcha! Beautiful slice. Truly magnificent. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna chop up the shrimp into into some, some tinier bits. Make it a little bit easier to chew. Still pretty gross. Same thing with the tentacle. You kinda gotta slice it into sandwich bits. Wait, why are those bits getting thrown off the table? I want those bits. I want every bit of that tentacle in that sandwich, which is a very weird thing to say. And then of course the onion. How do you slice an onion? I don't know. I'm an adult, but I don't really know how to slice an onion properly. That, that seems pretty good, right? And then you get, no, oh, you get rid of this bit. You don't want this little bit. Get out of here. Okay. Yes, yes. I think everybody is satisfied with that. Whoa, I know, I agree. Can can I put this together on a plate? No, I can't. Okay, so I have to construct this kind of like piece by piece in front of this dude. Let's see, can I? No, it falls in front of it. We're faced with a very serious dilemma. How do you build a sandwich in a game that doesn't let you build a sandwich? I can't actually put the stuff on top of the bread. Hear me out, a sandwich is basically all of the ingredients combined into one single delightful morsel that you can eat all together. What if we just all blend it together? I mean, basically it's a sandwich smoothie. That seems like the greatest option. Also, we need some mayo. I always like mayo on my sandwich. <laughs> Don't ill me, get out of here. I'm the chef. Although I am quite purposely making this gross. Try not to think too hard about it. Or we could we could fry it. I don't I don't know. Throw it all in the oven. I've never really used the oven before. Let's see what happens when I throw everything that I've got in the oven. This seems fun. Is that a piece of watermelon? Okay, sure. Why not? Cook it up. Mmm. <laughs> Baked sandwich. It's done. Okay. It looks it looks hot. So we'll go back here. Okay, you got yourself a hot sandwich that is still pretty gross. Now, the secret to it all. How do you get all these bits together? 
you throw them into a blender. It's science. I managed to fit everything in there. Behold, the sandwich smoothie. You're welcome. Also sorry. It's just a more convenient way to eat a sandwich. I'm making this dude's life even easier. Here you go, buddy. Slurp that up. Oh, he spit it all over me. But you know what he didn't do? He did not pass out, which is something that we've accomplished with all the other customers in previous episodes of this game. We must get this guy to pass out. And truly the best way to do that is to just start adding a ridiculous amount of disgusting condiments into the drink that we make him. So that's precisely what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this super lemony. I'm also going to make it incredibly spicy to the point where it's not even recognizable as a sandwich smoothie. Although it is kind of hard to recognize a sandwich smoothie in and of itself. Oh, you're gonna like this, dude. You're gonna like this a lot. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Okay, he spit it all over me. He did not get knocked out. He is a resilient one, but I'm taking him down. How am I gonna do that? I guess I'm just gonna take an onion. Well, actually, let's see what he thinks of just a raw onion. Ooh, he did not like that. Which is understandable. What about sushi? What do you think of sushi, my good sir? Ah, he likes it. Not the way I'm about to prepare it. Oh, no, no, no. Not the way I'm gonna prepare it. Let's pepper it up. Lots of pepper and lots of hot sauce. I feel like hot sauce is the secret to a successful food knockout. More hot sauce. Oh, I might actually be helping him here. I mean, let's be honest, eating a whole entire raw fish Disgusting. If you cover it in hot sauce, it might kind of mask some of the grossness of it, right? Or maybe it'll just make it super spicy and super gross. That's the hope. Eat it up. Knock him out. Knock him out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's a tough one. He's a tough cookie. Sneezed it all over me. How about just raw beef? Seems dangerous. Let's cover it in lemon. You know what? I'm just gonna cover this thing in every single condiment that's available. Pepper it up, salt it up, soy sauce it up. <laughs> oh no, that is just a putrid color. Let's make it even worse. I like how he's watching me do this and his reaction is just, hmm. I can't deny it. The man has a stomach of steel. Truly impressive. He is the final boss of Toka Kitchen. All right, I slather that bad boy in some truly disgusting choices. Eat it up. Mmm, open wide. Ah! Hey! Mission success! Look at him acting like nothing ever even happened. Oh, we saw what happened. We knocked you out. Toka Kitchen 2, a game that I honestly haven't played in a very long time. But in case you're unfamiliar, uh, in this game, you cook for uh, any three of these lovely, willing participants, and you can make an assortment of all kinds of different foods for them. We're gonna cook for our little lady friend here, and uh, we'll we'll make some some good stuff, but we will also make some disgusting stuff. As you can see, here are our ingredients to choose from, and you have some pretty standard ones. I mean, look, we got lettuce, pineapple, peaches, corn, just to name a few. You also have some strange ones, like uh, blue fruit that has spikes on it, that looks kind of dangerous, and also a tentacle. Just a straight up tentacle. It's a very colorful tentacle, I will say that. Is it a delicious tentacle? I guess with the proper preparation, it it could be a delicious tentacle, but we'll come back to uh, tentacle preparations later. Um, let's try to make this lovely lady so something good to eat. How about something simple? Maybe some rice and chicken. So let's grab the rice and then uh, I guess we need to bring it over to the boiling water, right? I mean, that's typically how you prepare rice, right? Maybe, maybe add some seasoning. There you go. You just gotta season that guy right there and then add a little, little bit of pepper just for good measure. Maybe a little soy sauce. I, I don't know. I mean, that, that seems like 
something you could do. And then we just stir that guy around. We could we could stir the pot a little bit. That's gonna be delicious. Now I think what I can do is we can we can take it out and then we can plate it on on one of our like ingredients plates. So so we can save that for later. But now we need to go back and prepare the chicken. Is that what we've decided? We'll go with her rice? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we've decided. You don't wanna eat raw chicken? You're missing out, lady. So, let's let's cook up this this here chicken. Just move it around the panel. Oh, that's looking real nice. Don't overdo it though. Um, it, we need some seasoning. We gotta season this guy. Salt, pepper, it's a classic. We should probably cut it up though for easier consumption. So I'll put it in this plate and then we'll go back and then I gotta bring that plate back, and then and then we go over to the chopping board. Okay, we're gonna do some chopping. Oh yeah! Oh, that is very satisfying. Hey, ja! Who? Cut! Chop! Hey! Who? Hey! Oh no! I'm losing! I'm losing bits and pieces of chicken. Where's my chicken going? All right. Well, we we've got some, we've got some bits. I'm I'm very very concerned about the well-being of my chicken here, though. Can I add it to the to the to the rice there? No. I can't? Maybe if I put it here, in a separate plate. Stop cutting the chicken! I just want to move my nicely prepared chicken over to the plate. Okay. And then, plating. This is the best part. Oh, you're gonna love this. All right! Eat it up! It's all yours! Dig in! Hmm. I worked very hard on this. That's right. I need to feed it to her. All right. Eat up! There you go! <gasps> What do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Okay, I mean, I was hoping for a slightly more bombastic response, but you know what? Get, maybe maybe she's just getting the taste buds warmed up, you know? We'll, we'll give her a chance, okay? Yep. Mmm, that's... Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, and then you finish that off with a big old ball of rice. She allergic to rice? What happened? I worked so hard on that! And you sneeze in my face? You can count this chef as unbelievably offended. But I'll try again. I will try again. What do you think she likes? Can we make her some pasta? Can we actually make like a, a pasta sauce? Like a marinara? I see that we have tomatoes and we do have a blender. I have no idea how to make Pasta sauce? Uh, please. No, I don't want to deep fry a tomato. Although, maybe I do want to deep fry a tomato. You know what? Let's deep fry a tomato. Why? Because we can. I mean, that could be delicious in, in its own unique way, right? All right, let's get this tomato out of here. Okay. Okay. I can put it on the plate. And then I guess I can just chop it up and serve it to her that way. You know what? She insulted me. So she's just going to get fed a whole fried tomato. Just, you eat that, all right? You like that? It's a little hot, isn't it? Yeah, you should have, you should have waited for it to cool down. How about a sandwich? Let's make her a sandwich, or at least attempt to. So we've got some bread, and then what are we gonna put on the sandwich? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just a, a steak. A whole steak sandwich? How could you not like an entire steak sandwich? Actually, I could think of a lot of reasons not to want an entire steak on a sandwich, but we're breaking new ground. We're we're testing out the waters. We're a chef that's ahead of our time. So I'm gonna throw it in the pan. We're gonna cook up that steak a little bit. You know, you gotta get the seasoning on there. You know, a little salt, uh-huh. Little pepper, maybe a little bit more salt. Bring out the real complex flavors of the steak. Okay, now hear me out. After you throw it on the skillet, you gotta finish it off in the oven, maybe. That's, that's something. No, not the bread, I don't want the, well, you know what, actually? We can toast up the bread in there, you know what? Let's let those guys cook up a little bit. Just, just warm it up, you know? Everybody likes a little toasty bread. All right, all right, all right. So now I need to slice the bread. I will take the steak out, okay, all right. Let's go over to the knife station. And we just gotta get that bread and cut it right in half. Watcha! It didn't work. Hold on. Let me try again. Watcha! There you go. It's beautiful. Okay, okay. Here comes the plating. Oh, she's gonna love this. She is going to love this. So we got we got the bread on there, okay? And then we put the steak on top of the bread. Please. You gotta eat it all together or else it's it's not gonna it's, it's <laughs> please. 
Please, you tell me I can't put an entire slab of steak on an entire loaf of bread and make this lady consume like 5,000 calories in one bite? This is not an option for me? All right, I'm upset. I'm upset that she refuses to turn this beautiful arrangement into a proper sandwich. Because, you know, you gotta add mayo, right? We add a little mayo to that to that sandwich. Maybe a, a little hot sauce, you know. Yeah. And give it a little kick. All right, let's see what she thinks of that. Here, you eat the bread. You gotta eat it in order. So you eat the top part of the bread, and then you just gotta leave it all in your mouth and make the sandwich in your mouth. And then, there you go. She licked her lips. I think that's a mark of approval, maybe. It's improvement, to say the least. Okay, but I'm done being nice to you. You know, I tried, and the best you could give me is, is a little a little licking of the lips like mm, that was pretty good so we're gonna try and make something so atrocious so disgustingly awful that it literally knocks her out and I'm telling you the tentacle continues to call to me I mean it's it's an ingredient that like I said could be delicious I've actually eaten octopus before and it's good how about a seafood smoothie <laughs> actually made me feel like I want to vomit. And all of the ingredients are going in completely raw. Okay, I like this. I like the sound of this. So that guy goes in there. Um, we need more though. We gotta, we gotta throw more in there. Okay, so maybe I can throw them all in together if I plate each of the ingredients. No, I didn't want to go back to the main menu. So what do we got? We got fish, right? So what are we putting in this delicious, nutritious smoothie? I would say fish is probably at the top of the list. Shrimp, for sure. And rainbow tentacles. No, I just fed her just a raw rainbow tentacle. All right, so let's put all of these in plates, right? And then we go over to the blender. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be truly Awful. All right, blend it up. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, that color. Oh, it's making my stomach turn. Oof. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, all right, all right. But I think it needs a little bit more, right? It needs a little bit of seasoning, maybe a little, little lemon there. Okay, yeah. You gotta, you gotta salt and pepper it up, right? Oh, that's yummy. That's. That's real yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And kick it up a notch. Throw in some hot sauce. Turn that smoothie nice, delicious green brown color. Whoo, that is making me feel real bad. Okay, there it is. I present to you the seafood sensation smoothie. All right, drink it up. I mean, she handled it better than I was expecting. You gonna take another drink? <laughs> if she's going in for seconds, maybe it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. How do I make it worse? Do you think this weird spiky blue fruit is terrible? But well, let's try adding that and maybe we just need like a few more gross ingredients. How about mushrooms? People typically don't like mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I'm okay with them. All right. So we got the weird spiky fruit. We got fish. We got shrimp. Wait. No, go in there. Okay. We got mushrooms. What? No. You, no. They don't all fit. No, they all fit. We'll make it work. All right. Blend it up. Will it blend? Oh, yes. Yes, it will. And this time it has kind of a nice orange tint to it, which is... Repulsive. I approve. But now, maybe we need to go a little bit more overboard with the uh, with the seasonings. Ketchup and mayo in a smoothie? I, I think I think that's the secret. I love that noise. That's that's a very pleasant noise. Alright, more hot sauce. Let's put in some mayo. I assume this is mayo. This is not making me feel good. You know what? Let's go with everything. Soy sauce. Soy sauce goes with fish well. Oh, what? Whoa! Okay, just add some water for good measure. She's proven that she has a stomach of iron, but let's see how tough that stomach truly is. Can we take her out? 
Same reaction, and she goes in for a second drink. Unbelievable. All right, you know what? Clearly this girl has eaten some just absolutely foul stuff. She was prepared for what I had to throw at her. But she's going down. Oh, she is going down. So you know what? No more blending. We're just gonna do some, some fine chopping of the tentacle. And then, and then, this is where true art is born. You just load that thing up with, with mayo. Just loads and loads of mayo. Oh, you, you're very, I can tell by your facial expressions that you are just chomping at the bit. Try this one. More mayo. All right. I worked very hard on this, so I hope you enjoy it. Yes. She's a fortress. Okay, you know what? Let's spice things up a bit, huh? Oh, you're going down. You're going down. More spicy. I want those tentacles to be unrecognizable after I've spiced them up. What do you think of that? She's a monster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm putting all the condiments on. I'm going all out. There's no stopping me now. I'm not holding back my punches anymore. You're going down, lady. How about some lemon? Get a little sour in there. So many complimentary flavors. Your mind's gonna blow up. And a little salt. And a little pepper. There you go. Enjoy. Eat that up. Eat it up. Just... Yes! 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 You have been defeated! The mightiest boss I've ever faced in any video game. We did it. We did it, team. We took her down. Holy cow. The fortitude of this girl. Unbelievable. Let's see what happens. Actually, I want to take this over to, like, a fryer or something. Let's just... I mean, we loaded this thing with pretty much every single condiment that we have access to. Why not throw it in the deep fryer? See if that makes it better or worse. I don't know. Mm. What do you think of that? What do you think? Uh, yeah? Yes? Ooh. Uh, really? It's just hot? Uh, to think. Uh, no. No. Once it cooled down a little bit, it still has the power to knock you down. But I gotta say, I'm impressed with how strong of a stomach this girl has. Toka Kitchen, or as I like to call it, let's try to make people barf kitchen. Gross. I'm gonna force people to eat the grossest stuff I can possibly create, and we're gonna get real creative. So like, uh, for instance, everybody loves pineapple. Whoa. Look at how excited she is. She's like, whoa! Yes. Delicious pineapple. Do you think she'll just eat it raw? Okay, you are a psychopath. Don't pineapples have like spikes and stuff on them? Anyways, um, what about boiled pineapple? That seems yummy. And then just add a whole lot of hot sauce to some boiled pineapple as, as you do. Oh man, this is, this is gross. It's gross. That's what it is. That's what I am making. I am making something very gross. All right. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's a little hot. You got blow on it. All right, here you go. If she likes this. She kind of seemed like she liked it. What's wrong with you, lady? Anyways, boiled pineapple with tons of hot sauce. That's a success. If success means that you're making your customers burp like toxic fumes. Now, everybody loves squid tentacles, right? They're just the, the finest mm -hmm. treat. And I mean, honestly, a deep fried squid tentacle doesn't sound terrible. I mean, isn't that basically calamari, right? But where you really get them is the seasoning. Oh yes, we need some lemon on there. Everybody loves lemon on calamari, right? More ah! lemon and then ketchup. Oh yeah, lemon and ketchup. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> From your nightmares. Someone murdered a squid tentacle. There's so much red. What do you think? 
You gonna eat this? How about some pepper? You need some pepper. A little, little pepper seasoning. She is looking concerned, I would say, would be the appropriate emotion that she's probably feeling. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Yes! That is the response we're looking for. I want toxic burps, I want disgusted faces, and I even want a little bit of possibly passing out. I want your heart to stop for, like, a, a second or two. So, like, you're clinically dead, but you're not really dead. Because then I feel bad. I would say fried squid tentacle with tons of lemon and ketchup is a huge success. Now, I did recently learn that there are some secret recipes in the game that will essentially destroy your customer temporarily. Of course. So how do we make this recipe? Well, we start with hot dog. And uh, we gotta fry that guy up. Okay, so we cook this guy in the pan, which, yeah, I mean, for the record, cooked up hot dog, sausage, whatever it is, delicious. But how do we ruin this? We add it to the blender. You juice a uh, cooked sausage. But that's only one of the ingredients. Of course, you need a bit of a, a juice component to your juice. And, uh, the, the option, uh, is orange. So, anybody want an orange sausage smoothie? Because that's what we're making. There were some additional ingredients that we'll need to add to it, but, uh, for now, we'll just load these guys in plates, and then we'll go over to the blender, and we add in our orange. We add in our sausage. Actually, I think I needed two oranges. All right, now we have two oranges. There we go. Okay, blend it up. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's stuck. Yum. Then you gotta add soy sauce. That was the last step to this secret recipe. Gosh, who thought of this? All right, enjoy, and, um... You get a little, uh, orange appetizer with it. It's- it's a great pairing. Alright, enjoy your sausage orange juice. Yeah, 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 no! What?! It didn't knock her out! I feel so deeply betrayed, maybe you gotta drink the whole thing. Take her down. She will not survive this. Two drinks? Okay, fine. More power to you. I guess your stomach has become stronger since the last time that recipe was given to you. <laughs> Gross, by the way. Orange sausage juice. Ugh. All right, this time we have a fine pasta dish for our patron. Let's uh, let's boil up some some pasta for her. Uh, while that boils, I'm gonna grab some more ingredients. We need shrimp and dragon fruit, and we boil all of those together. Now, oh no, actually I'm supposed to cut the dragon fruit. I need to I need to slice the dragon fruit. Get this out of the pot. Slice and dice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Yep. Good job. Get rid of the pit. No one wants to eat the pit. And then all of that goes into the bathtub. Got a season. Of course. How could I forget? Salt, pepper, and then plate that bad boy up. Oh, she's gonna love this. Yep, let that cool down a little bit. A little hot. That's fine. There you go. Eat up. Yum. 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 You gotta eat it all. Eat it all. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Uh, oh. I'm impressed. I can't believe that didn't send her to another dimension. That was absolutely... Foul. She was into it. All right, after that fine meal, I think she needs something to, to wash it down with, which is a guaranteed showstopper. A glass of water. However, you gotta add the seasoning. So I'm told three shakes of each item. I don't know if that uh, all the lemon got in there, but there you go. Three soy sauce and then three dashes of hot sauce, although we'll be coming back to the hot sauce, and then three dashes of ketchup, and three dashes of... I think that's mayo. Ugh, oh, gosh. And then you gotta do six dashes of hot sauce. There you go. That is just... horrific. Alright, I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, she's teetering. Oh, let's go. 
All right, mission accomplished. Here, have another sip. Maybe the second time around, it's even better. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh, that'll send you to a new plane of existence. You're welcome. Corn! It's a big lump with knobs, and guess what it has? It has the juice. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make corn juice. I'm gonna make the most delicious corn juice anyone has ever had. Is corn juice supposed to be delicious? We need more corn. There must be more. How many cobs of corn go into a full corn juice smoothie? I don't know. Five. We're gonna go with five. That is the answer. Will it overflow with corn juice? I hope so. That's my plan. Can I put how many corns? I can do three at a time. Three? Okay, that's pretty good. Well, that's a that's a lot of corn juice. We're overflowing with corn juice. I need, there's one more one more corn. That's five corn cobs for one juice. She's gonna love this, right? She's gonna love this. Drink up. Is it not the most beautiful thing? Really? She actually liked the corn juice, which is impressive. You think this guy would like corn juice? Let's see. One corn juice coming up. How many? Do you think I can? No, I can only fit three. Three at a time. Okay, that's the maximum blend capacity of corns on the cob. Corn on the cobs. All five have gone into the cup. Let's see if he enjoys this treat. What do you think? What do you think of that? Yeah. You're just looking at it with a blank stare. Okay. Just, just completely indifferent about the corn juice that I worked so hard creating based on a very popular meme. Just, just had to try. Gotta try. Maybe corn isn't that great. All right, now if I remember this guy, he's got like a stomach of pure steel. He's basically the Superman of stomachs. So can I gross him out to the fullest extent possible to the point where he collapses from the deliciousness, of course, of, of what I make it. I think the secret to success here is essentially adding every single meat to a smoothie. I mean, imagine the, the protein macros in that bad boy. That's, that's the way to go. So here we go. We're gonna, yep. Mm-hmm, that's good stuff, and get a hot dog, and of course, I mean, it goes without saying, but all this stuff is staying absolutely raw. Why would I cook it? Disgusting. All right, sausage goes in first, blend that guy up. Mmm, sausage smoothie. Looks delightful. And then we'll add in a steak, we'll add in a squid tentacle for good measure. Okay, nope, that's all I can fit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll do a little bit at a time. Oh, that's a nice reddish orange color. Whew. It's making me gag a little bit, not gonna lie. Hey, can we fit that fish in there? I don't think that's gonna fit. I don't think... Oh, they all got in there. All right. Oh, the fish adds a lovely brown green tint to that. Mmm. Yum, yum. All right, let's see what this guy thinks of it. Oh gosh, what have I created? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of protein, man. We killed him. He's dead. Mission accomplished. Why don't you have another little sip? Just for good measure. Yum. <laughs> killed him again. I've defeated your stomach of steel. <laughs> oh man, I'm very proud of myself. Now the secret recipes that I found it seems like of all of those, the only ones that actually worked on knocking out the customers were the just most vile, disgusting smoothies. Is there something solid that can knock out a customer? I guess it comes down to like maybe feeding them like raw chicken. I mean, will he even eat that? He won't eat that, but what if we season it? See, then we, we trick him, season it. Oh, I'm making the chicken. Raw chicken is always green, isn't it? That's the way you want to eat it. Never, never eat raw chicken. Just add some ketchup, lots of mayo. He seems pretty delighted about that. That's a weird color. That's a very weird color. What do you think? You're not gonna eat it. Okay, what if, what if I s salt? A little salt? That might, 
I help, right? Yum. Oh, he's actually gonna eat it? I can't believe he survived that. Unbelievable. What's wrong with you? Listen, he looks okay right now, but in, I'd say, like, 45 to 60 minutes, <laughs> he is not going to be feeling good. You just ate raw chicken, my guy. You can't do that. This is not going to end well for you or the bathroom facilities. Here, eat a carrot. That'll make you feel better. There you go. What? Who doesn't like carrots? To think, I could... Feed this man raw chicken, and he's okay with it, and then he eats a carrot, and he's just disgusted. Beside himself. Can't even look at me in the eyes anymore. You fed me a carrot. How dare you? Yeah, well, whatever. It's my restaurant. I do what I want. Here, have a strawberry. Do you like strawberries? Will this man eat a raw squid? Oh, gosh. All right. Maybe he just doesn't like anything. Ever. Fair enough. You're at the right place, because I only make garbage here. You're never going to find any good food in this kitchen. No way. All right, let's feed the Yeti. I feel like he's been left out of the fun. Does he like carrots? Do you like carrots? Are you, are you cool with carrots? Oh! He's a big fan of carrots, so you know what we should do? Make him a carrot smoothie. Oh, yes. You're gonna love this, Mr. Yeti. Oh, oh, buddy. You're in for a treat. An onion, carrot, and potato smoothie. Throw it in there. A little water. You need a little water, of course. Goes without saying. Throw those guys in there, blend them up. What color is this gonna be? My, what a lovely taupe. There you go, bud. There you go. I know you were feeling left out. I wanted to make sure that you 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 enjoyed your time here at the kindly Keen restaurant of horrors and disgust. I don't want to leave anybody out.